Hey students, it's your teacher, Ty McCarthy, and I'm making a quick video to show you how to make a report style map that you can put into your lab reports. So what this video is going to show you how to do is organize your layers in the table of contents and then create a map layout, insert your map into that layout, adjust the size of it, and then add um, elements for a map like a scale bar and a legend and a title if you need it and just kind of show you how to use the layout um, editor in ArcGIS Pro to make a clean simple map that you can then put into your lab reports. So what you're looking at right now is a map that I just made for fun uh, but I thought it would be a good example to show you how to do this. So I've got Stanislaus National Forest boundary here uh, that I I downloaded um, all of the national forest boundaries for California and then just extracted this one for Stanislaus National Forest. And then I also did a similar thing with streams and rivers. I downloaded a, a, a much broader hydrology data set, but then just clipped the streams and rivers that are within the Stanislaus National Forest. And then I actually uploaded the symbol to make the streams look like this bright, vibrant, neon yellow. Um, this is um, something I was inspired to do by a style of cartography called firefly cartography, um, which typically the object or the features that you're trying to highlight in the map are this bright neon color, and then the rest of the elements in the map or the, the layers are subdued and dark. Um, so that's what inspired uh, the symbology that you see here. So you've got the layers that you want to use for your final map here in your table of contents and for you um, it, it really depends on the lab that you're doing right um, so it, if when, whenever you're finished with your analysis whenever you're finished editing your layers and you're ready to create your final map whatever those data sets may be um, this is when you can create a layout and create your map so the first thing you want to do is go to insert and new layout, right? So this is where you can pick the size that your map will be, and then you can customize it. Um, I always just pick this letter portrait style, and then I adjust the dimensions after I create it. So now that it's here, right, it looks like a letter size, like a piece of paper, but I can right click on the layout in the table of contents here, go to properties, and I can adjust it here, the size, the width and height. I want the, this map in my report to be six by six inches. So I can just easily adjust that to six by six inches and hit OK. Right, so now it's a nice clean square. The next thing you want to do is insert the map into your layout. And that's pretty simple. It's just right here next to new layout, new map. Um, or I'm sorry, uh, you, you go to map frame. So new map would be creating a whole new map that would, uh, would dock here in this bar. But we want to insert a map frame into our layout. And there's the map that I've already created. So what you do once you select that map frame is you can actually just click here in the upper left corner and then hold down on your mouse and drag and release in the bottom corner. And there it is. So now the map frame is fit to the same size as our layout frame. Now, if you notice, like you were seeing here, that the layers aren't um, positioned or at the scale that you want them to be for your map, you can simply go to Layout tab up here and activate your map frame. This will allow you to move the layers inside the layout view. And I'm going to just kind of center the Stanislaus National Forest boundary somewhere in the middle like that. That looks pretty good. And when I'm done, you have to remember to go to Layout over here again uh, on the top uh, toolbar and close the activation right so now it's I can't move that around anymore so uh, the, the basic elements you want on a report style map are always going to be basically a north arrow a scale bar and a legend sometimes a title but not always it really depends on whether or not you have a caption associated with the map in your report for this map we're going to just do north bars or north arrow scale bar and legend and not do a title uh, like this map. So this is a complete map that I already created. It's got a title, a subtitle, 
It has uh, an inset map or a locator, right? This is a locator map showing where the national forest is compared to the rest of California. Then I've got my scale bar and my north arrow. And I don't have a legend in this map, but we're going to put a legend um, in this map indicating streams and rivers. So let's start with the scale bar. You go to the insert tab up here and here are your options for the typical map elements. I want to do a pretty simple clean looking single division scale bar. Once you click on that and select it then I'll, you do a similar thing like you did when you put the map frame into the layout view. You just drag, click and drag to the size that you want the scale bar to be. Um, and that's a little small, make it a little bigger something like maybe 25 or 30 miles. And then you can see that the color of the text in the scale bar uh, are hard to see, right? The, the black. So we want to change that. So let's select the scale bar and right click and make sure we open up the scale bar properties. First, let's change the text. So here's our scale bar properties on the right side of the map here. We're going to select text symbol first and let's change it to something that's going to be a little bit more visible on that background. So here's the color. I want it to be something like 30% gray and hit apply. That's a little easier to see. And then we want to change the scale bar color itself. So we're going to go back to the scale bar and we're going to go to the properties and then scroll down. So scale bar properties and there's our symbol at the bottom. So we can select our symbol for the actual scale bar. And we're going to change that to that same 30% gray that we did with the text. And now let's take a look, right? You can see the 30, you can see the miles. Um, if you wanted it to be darker or lighter, you can change that there in the symbol properties. Now I want to insert a north arrow. Same thing here. I want it to be a nice, simple, clean north arrow. So one of these top three options, I like this solid fill. And you can put that anywhere in the map, but typically your map elements like scale bar, legend, north arrow are going to be on the bottom or on the side, never near the middle or the top, typically, for a simple map like this. So same thing, click, drag, there's my north arrow. I'm going to, I want it to be a little bit more balanced, so I want to bring it down and line it up with the bottom of that scale bar. And then same thing here, all right? I want to change in the properties, I want to change the color of my north arrow. So I click on the symbol. We're going to also make this about 30% gray so we have a little bit of consistency with our symbols. So let's take a look at that. Not too bad, but you always want your north arrow to be to not be too big so it doesn't capture too much attention. So we'll drop it down, make it small. And then uh, we want to insert a legend, right? So we want to make sure that the map readers know what these uh, bright yellow lines are. So we can select legend up here uh, in the insert tab and we're going to drag, click and drag. And now you'll see that the legend is showing the names of the layers here in the table of contents and also the text is a little, uh, it's dark, it's hard to read. So we're going to, we're going to line it up on the left side because there's some space over here above the scale bar and we're going to change the text color first and I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to just make it 30 percent gray and see if that sticks out enough. It looks okay. We can make it bold if we think that we want it to be a little easier to read and then we don't want these file names to be what the map reader sees, right? So we can just go over here in the table of contents and we'll t change this here. So we'll just put streams, capitalize, and we can take away major and the underscores and just put rivers. And then here we can type out the full name of this national forest. So how about Stanislaus NF? There we go. And then we're going to drag this down um, we can make the box a little smaller, the, uh, the border of the legend, drag it down, and there you go. Um, and so that is really how easy it is to make a, a simple clean map, right? You can insert your, you can create a layout. In
insert your map frame, insert map elements like north arrow, scale bar, and legend, customize the properties of all of those, um, you change the color of the text and the symbol, you can make it different sizes, you can even change the font type if you'd like. Um, and if you wanted to, you to make the map look something similar to this map by adding a locator or a title, you could do that pretty simply as well. Um, so to do a title, you would just, you can insert dynamic text up here, so just to the right of where you see these other map elements. And it actually has different types of labels and text that you can put in. So maybe the credits, right? We could do... Uh, this is the name of the map, so if you wanted to put a title, you would click that, adjust the size and the color of the text. If you wanted to add map credits by maybe putting the name of the author, you can do that, draw that here, and then here you can customize it. And so here I'm just going to put um, author my name, and then I could put the date. Or I like to do um, a symbol like this sometimes to, to divide the different things. So we'll put author Ty McCarthy, date, we could put um, 02 2020, hit enter, and then we could put data sources. And I know that I got. Uh, some of these from the U.S. Forest Service is where I got the National Forest Boundary. And then I, um, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head where I got the rivers and streams, but I'd have to look at that, and then I could give credit to that source as well. Right? And then so the last thing I'd want to do is make this a little larger so you could see everything I wrote. And then change, uh, again, the text color right go to text symbol change the color to that same 30 percent and there you go so now I've got I can, and if I wanted to I could bump this north arrow over and then bring the sources down so it's a little bit more aligned and that, that's a little hard to see so you maybe would make the sources, you could either make it bold, I don't know if you want to do that because you don't want the sources to pop out too much, you could make it maybe a little bit of a lighter color like that so it's easier to read. And then you, if you wanted to also do a an, an, uh, locator map like we saw here, what I actually did to create this is I created a second map with just a California shapefile and then the National Forest shapefile. And then in my layout, I would insert another map frame. I would so I would select the the map frame with California and the National Forest boundary, and I would make it small, like this. So just click and drag. And then I would um, activate this like I did the first time I showed you that. Activate it, and then I can zoom out. in that map frame until all of California is visible like that and then close the activation and voila I've got a locator map showing where this national forest is compared to the rest of the state um, and it's inside of the larger map frame and then when you're ready to share this map or export this map and put it into your report you can simply go to the share tab up here on the top export layout and then you'll get this export layout window on the right side here um, you can select the file type if you're going to be putting it into a word document a jpeg is typically the best you can choose the resolution of your image here also the color depth the file location wherever you want to save it and then just hit export and you will have this map in an image format that you can then put in your report. I hope that this uh, brief video was helpful for making a report style map in ArcGIS Pro. And thanks for watching.